All right, that story from Agutu Rosa telling us about the white butterflies that we've been seeing around takes us to our conversation of the day. Uh, we will be speaking about a different thing, which is about the HR industry. And joining us is Brian Karuki, who is the Vice President, Simless HR East Africa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so um, when we look at H the HR industry uh, in the employment sector, yes. first of all, um, how are we in terms of taking care of um, the employees that we have? As a, you come from, I mean, the HR part of um, the industry. So how, how are empl employees uh, treated? Um, are we at a place where we can say almost 80% um, of the needs of employees are met by the HR department? Well, in truth, no. I think there is a lot of room uh, for growth and for improvement in terms of how we manage our people. And perhaps one of the reasons why things are as they are is that HR has not traditionally been treated as a strategic function. Mm -hmm. There are other functions that have been thought of as more strategic, such as finance. Now, and, and IT perhaps, we are now seeing organizations come in to recognize the importance of how they manage their people. And in order to do so effectively, they need to deploy technology, uh, which is what uh, Seamless HR does. And there are a number of reasons why uh, HR is now becoming more strategic than it has been in the past. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And now when you look at AI, and now in the day-to-day -day activities of the HR practices, um, where do you place uh, the introduction of these new innovations in technology? Well, first of all, artificial intelligence is going to change everything. Mm -hmm. And it's important for us to understand that. Artificial intelligence is going to do for knowledge work what industrialization did for manual work. Mm -hmm. So the story that was showing a, a minute ago was about farming. And in farming today, at a particular scale, if you're not making use of technology and tools, machinery, such as tractors, you will be far less productive than other farmers. That is exactly what is going to happen in knowledge work as well, where if you're not making use of artificial intelligence and the applications that are going to be layered onto artificial intelligence, you will fall behind. Mm -hmm. And so it is critically important that everyone today that does knowledge work understands how they can fit artificial intelligence into their day-to-day -day work. Mm -hmm. Now coming to your question, there are a number of ways that AI and HR intersect. And perhaps the best way to approach them is by speaking about trends today in HR. And broadly, there are three trends that uh, we are seeing in, in human resources. One is that we have more and more people who are working remotely in a lot of organizations. Yes. And obviously it is difficult to manage people working remotely without technology. If people are working in an office, it's much easier because time and attendance, for instance, you can do using a book. But when you can't actually see when people are clocking in to work and clocking out, you need to use technology. That's one of them. And artificial intelligence can be useful there. A second trend is that in addition to people working remotely, organizations are becoming bigger and bigger. And the bigger organization gets, the harder it is to manage uh, using uh, manual, manual uh, processes. Mm -hmm. And the third is that we are seeing a trend where people are taking things that were not tr traditionally considered important, such as uh, mental health, diversity, and what have you, are becoming more important. Uh, and it's, it's, it's quite difficult to make use of HR tools 
uh, it's quite difficult to manage people in such a way that you are prioritizing things such as mental health yes. uh, without making use of tools. And I'm happy to speak about how we are doing each of those things. All right. Before you even get to that, um, let us look at, you've sp spoken about mental health and, you know, in organizations or in employment, this is a very important um, issue, especially when it comes to um, life outside the office and also life in the office, because we have also life outside the office. Yes. So managing workers who are maybe, um, sometimes um, they go through other things outside the office. Yes. Um, what are some of the gaps in employment that are not really covering this? Because someone comes to work in the morning, yes. they make sure they deliver what they have to deliver. Yes. In the yes. evening, they go back home. Yes. But at the end of the day, they still life after the office. So is this also an important aspect that needs to be looked at? Absolutely. And it's something that we at Seamless HR take quite seriously because our mission as a business is to help institutions, primarily in Africa, to optimize their resources so that they can become more productive and successful, uh, beginning with their people resources, which is why we are today focused on HR. Mm -hmm. Now. In a world where people were working manually, mental health was less of an issue. Because you clocked into work for farming, for instance. When the sun rose, you started work. Yes. When the sun set, you stopped work. Mm -hmm. But with knowledge work, those divisions between when you start work and when you end are becoming blurred. And it is a struggle that organizations and businesses are having where the practices of old, in terms of how they managed people, were more suited to manual work, right? So for instance, we were very interested in what time people clock into work, which is important if somebody is doing manual work because their output is directly tied to what, how long they work. Yes. With, with knowledge work, it becomes a bit more difficult because people can work until midnight, for instance. But the more and more that you allow people to work until whatever time, the higher the chances of burnout increase, the higher the chances of other mental health issues presenting increase. And so it's important to make use of tools uh, such as Seamless HR and, and other tools to help you understand how long your people are working, to help you understand whether your people are taking breaks, are they going on leave, to help you better recruit for roles. One of the challenges is that they are just sometimes are not enough people to do a job. Mm -hmm. And so one is forced to, an employee is forced to work longer. But with a tool such as seamless hiring, then you can be far more efficient about hiring and recruitment of resources. Uh, and you can make use of tools along the entire life cycle of, of an employee, from hiring to development to deriving value from that employee mm -hmm. in a way that enables you as an organization to tend to the mental health of those employees. All right, just hold it right there. We're going to go for a short break, but when we come back, we're going to continue with this conversation of um, the AI and how it is changing practices in the HR industry. So don't go too far, stay tuned. <laughs> 